With the new trailer for Ghostbusters Afterlife dropping and confirmation of a November 2021 release, fingers crossed, let's take a look at everything we know so far. From the cast to how this movie fits in the ghost busting timeline, everything you need to know going into this fall is coming up. In this sequel, 30 plus years in the making, there's a huge collision between the old and the new. Most of the old cast is back and ready for action though. Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, Ernie Hudson, and Annie Potts are all confirmed to be in it with only Rick Moranis and Harold Ramis not making appearances. For Rick Moranis, he's been semi-retired for the better part of 25 years, although he will be in the new Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, which, if like me, you had no idea about, now you know. In the case of Harold Ramis' character Egon Spangler, due to Ramis' unfortunate passing in 2014, there's no real way he would have been able to make an appearance, but from the first trailer released back in 2019, it seems like his character, for the most part, has been written out. And while we haven't seen her in a trailer yet, it's also even been confirmed by the woman herself that Sigourney Weaver will make an appearance. For the newcomers to the franchise, there's Stranger Things as Resident Bad Boy, Finn Wolfhard, McKenna Grace from The Handmaid's Tale, Proxima Midnight from Infinity War, aka Carrie Coon, and the Ant Daddy himself, Paul Rudd as a summer school teacher, which has to be his best casting from that generic but fitting description alone. And to round out this section, even though he isn't a part of the cast, it's both interesting and fits within the whole theme of the new and old meeting because this movie is being directed by the son of the original Ghostbusters. While his father, Ivan Reitman, directed the first two Ghostbusters as well as Kindergarten Cop, his son Jason is no directorial slouch either. Jason directed Juno, Thank You For Smoking, and his most critically acclaimed, Up In The Air. Just love when a motif like this comes together. So for the first time in the franchise, and yes, that maybe slash maybe not means the reboot of Ghostbusters in 2016, Ghostbusters is headed to the middle of nowhere, sorry Oklahomans, instead of taking place in New York City. While the daughter of Egon Spengler, Callie, and her two kids, Trevor and Phoebe, move there as they're facing some financial troubles, Phoebe finds her grandpa's old things, which, coupled with some very paranormal things happening around, sets the stage for a new group of Spectre fighting specialists. But in the most recent trailer, we get a tease that this new threat might be too much to handle for our young and very, very inexperienced new heroes. There might even be one more new trailer between now and the fall 2021 release, showing our old friends and heroes gearing up one more time, but if Sony knows what they're doing, and history proves that they don't, they'll keep that reveal tucked until the movie hits theaters. Now, it was mentioned earlier, but from everything shown off so far, it's pretty clear that this movie completely ignores the 2016 reboot, which actually does make a lot of sense since Jason has said this movie is a direct sequel to the OG 80s movies, but this also presents two major issues. The first issue is that so far from what has been seen and shown from the various marketing materials, only the first Ghostbusters has been mentioned, which calls into question whether or not the events of Ghostbusters 2 are still considered canon, and then the second issue is of course Ghostbusters 2016 getting shoved into the basement never to be seen or talked about again. Let's, let's just start with that one. So yes, Ghostbusters 2016 wasn't the most critically or commercially or well received from fans, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't have a fan base. The movie still made $229 million, even though it did have a budget of $144 million, but that's still a lot of money, and it's not like movies that are considered bad don't have cult followings, and seeing a movie that you enjoyed or even worked on, not even getting an old Yeller style send off, but just getting erased from the timeline completely, is kind of upsetting. With some of the OG actors making cameos in the 2016 film, continuity wise, it doesn't really make sense to acknowledge that movie, but that doesn't mean that there can't be any Easter eggs to it at least. The other issue is more related to a lack of information as it pertains to this movie. Since we've only gotten a few interviews and two trailers to go off of, we really can't say what's gonna be in it. I know, right? Who'd have thought? We don't know much about the movie that isn't out yet. But because of that, some people have theorized that the movie actually doesn't reference Ghostbusters 2 at all, since everything so far we've seen has only mentioned the original Ghostbusters set in 1984. Even though Ghostbusters 2 is similar to 2016 reboot to the franchise with a wasted tagline, as it isn't as highly regarded as the original, but I still just can't see them only referencing the first one. 
I'm not saying that it's essential, but no mention of the ghost group making the Statue of Liberty gallivant around New York City seems like a huge missed opportunity. Ghostbusters Afterlife is going to, one way or another, continue to move the franchise forward into the 21st century, and there's not too much time left until we get to see the sequel to a sequel, but now you know enough to pass your bussin' exam.